Okay, we're back. Uh, you, are you guys able to hear us? Greetings, and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents Fixing the Problems. Yes, Adam's, uh, Adam's sound is coming through. Okay. But his sound is a little lower. I'm always low. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, don't, don't worry about the levels. Just uh, are, are, are we making sound? Yeah. Uh, making, yeah, uh, okay, good. Uh, I'll fix the levels now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, not annoying at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The shaggy horned ape tried to uh, whole person mort. That didn't work. It then looks really shy. Test, 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 one, two, three. <laughs> Was that a mating ritual? <laughs> uh, it actually moves around the corner. <laughs> like it doesn't want to be the target of your, of your attack. That's tomorrow you look. <laughs> There's an annoyed, like, 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 look back from the lobster creature. Um, perhaps that's how neutral evil fights. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that probably is. <laughs> How come it seems kind of familiar, actually? <laughs> Grackle. Uh, I believe that, that was That shaggy called... thing provides no moral support. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... They're all Let's... archaeologist bards. <laughs> Let us see who is the best swordsman. Okay, so you're, uh, you're, you're talking out loud and letting the stink into your mouth? Oh, yeah, I guess. That's okay. <laughs> she was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got he it. Comes awesome. to hear. Uh, he gets to hear and he's going to strike this guy. Well, oh, Bart Song is up, right? Bart Song is up. Oh, you've okay. got your annoying long arms. long arms up? Yep. Two, three, four, five, two. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh 25 uh this thing has an ac of 26 uh there is a fortune point spent so you actually do hit it <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right uh plus 14 second attack crack would be awesome if you said plus two oh to everything. My God. <laughs> uh, that's a miss though it catches your sword and it looks at the blade like it like it's studying the blade all right uh let's do a little bit of damage to this thing do you have any energy effects on your blade cold don't 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 use it don't use it okay i'll just add this then uh 33 damage Quack! It did not like that. Um, Does it have DR? It has DR ten good. What is the plus on your on your item? Uh, it's plus two weapon. Okay, so that's twenty three damage. Okay. Crack. It's looking at your weapon and tosses tosses the blade back as you're pulling it. Uh, Los, Los is kind of going to come through the walls. Gonna end up here. Yeah. Ah, uh, he'll end up here, so he's gonna help flank with Mort if you move over. Uh, Los had to move, and then he attacks. Bard song is running, correct? Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. Is there a good hope? No, no. not yet. No. AC twenty-eight. Los hits. But only does eleven damage after DR. Uh, does it take sneak? It does take sneak attack. Nice. Los has 2d6 of that. See. Four damage and two bleed. From the sneak. Good job. He pokes it. 
Um, and it starts leaking. It's tentacles flapping everywhere. Uh, flicking around in pain. So that was a move and attack, and we you can aid as a move action, right? Uh, it is an attack action. Okay. To, uh, it's an action equivalent it's, to the action it's, that you were doing. It's okay. one action. Yeah. Okay. It's one action. So he is going to aid Mort's next attack. Nice. Oh, boy. Hitting AC 21, yeah. but would have missed the creature. So he's like, tick, tick, tick. get him, Mort! Tap, tap, tap. Uh, Junker. Junker. That spell's really bad. We're going to burn a second circle spell to summon an air elemental into the middle of the cloud, and then it's going to make a whirlwind and make the fart cloud go away. I don't like these spells, so bye-bye. We're sacrificing one of our reduced animals today to counter their spell. Okay. Um, They're immune to poison. This bank of stinky fog acts like a fog cloud spell, which probably has rules for... A moderate wind, 11 miles per hour, disperses the fog in four rounds. A strong wind disperses the fog in one round. So it will be gone in a round. Uh, but on, yeah. on the beginning of your next turn, there is uh, there will be no more sneaky cloud. Perfect. Let me get your... <laughs> Elemental just going... And, and just, just one guy? I just, yeah, I, I use the minimum summon for this. I think that means there is an area where there's a cyclone of air that might be difficult to walk through. Oh yeah, there is a there is a yeah, that's yes there is. That is what is happening. There's a specifically a, a dude uh there's a dude going nuts who is uh 20 foot vortex. Okay, so the same as the as yeah. the stinky cloud. <laughs> Nice. Nicely done. Alright, I'll just make a note. That'll be gone at the beginning of your next turn. Spark. Spark comes in. Righteousness shall be your bow! Spark <clears throat> casts a uh, weapon of awe on Ghost's bow. Oh, use your awe. Who's... Who's my little my little guy? <laughs> we will make righteous crusaders out of them yet, says Spark. Who apparently has plans for all of you? <laughs> oh, oh yes, righteous crusaders. Yeah. Zuby. <laughs> <laughs> Chaga moves in. Oh, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a stink now, isn't it? It reminds uh... it reminds me of Mort's feed bag left out in the sun. I wonder how long it'll take to clean the kitchen now that you've stinky clouded the kitchen <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. preparation area. <laughs> oh no. Glaren moves in. He's got his he's got his swords in his hand. He's he's waiting. Uh ghost. Well, Junker is basically immune to poison, but ghost is the opposite of that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Uh ghost is going to um busy himself with buffs because he's not running through the poison. Um, we are going to drink a potion off of... Uh, yeah, we're drinking a potion. So he grabs a potion off of uh, Junker's belt and he drinks it. Okay. Piss the lobster man horror. He's bleeding all over the place. Takes two bleed damage. All sorts of ick coming out of it. He is going to step forward and attack Grackle. Mm. Okay. Don't know. Don't know what kind of day it's going to be. All right. So you're you're conserving your panache. Um, yeah. Okay. A horrible claw comes. I believe you can block as a free just by burning AOS. Yeah. The, oh, it's yeah? only to repost that costs panache. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you can do the dodge thing. 
like if it's right for, for uh, yeah. modifier. AC and twenty. You don't even have to roll. AC twenty five with one claw. Yes. The other one's coming in. And it rolls a nat one. Oh. AC thirty four. No, oh, it's a mess. Do unarmed damage to self lethal. Okay. D three plus seven, eight, nine. It's it's big claw hammers into the ground with a crack, and it does ten damage to itself. Oh, that's not very good, is it, crack? <laughs> it is yeah. very bad. It is job. Let's hope it's tasty. Looks like you're having lost it tonight. Okay, there is a telepath. It does not like your taunting. There is a telepathic image that it sends to both of you of your bloated corpses floating in a very dark river, your bodies becoming the spawning grounds for hundreds, if not thousands, of future generation of lobster men. Shit, maybe we should need him. <laughs> Apparently he's poisonous. Looks <laughs> <laughs> pretty fucked up. Yes, right. <laughs> Tassara uh, waits uh, for the madness to clear. Uh, Mort uh, is going to make some lobster paste. Okay. Uh, Los cannot. Cannot what? No, he's not. Yeah, he's not helping me with the fight. So I know that. Yep. He has an aid. I do have an aid for the first attack. Yes. And Bard's song is up. So. Plus twenty three. No, Mort's weapon doesn't care so much about the Are DR. you kidding me? Oh, 26 this is AC, right? Yep. All right, one hit, just barely. <laughs> it tried to, like, stick its head inside of its armored plate, but you managed to bop the part that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, AC 35. Well, the next one, you just swing towards its its lobster claws. You figure that it would be bad if, it, if those were crushed. Uh, yeah. And plus 13. And 22 is a miss. So, uh, that's 48. You strike it in its big carapace, its big uh, breastplate, if you will, and it just doesn't do anything. Uh, does it take uh, shock and acid? Uh, it does not take any acid. And shock, it is resistant in the amounts that you're delivering. Okay, so I won't bother with it then. It's uh, DR good. Four, and what's its DR? Ten? Ten good. So minus twenty. So he still took sixty-eight points of damage. That's still a lot of damage. Dunk, dunk. Spankaroo, spankaroo. Uh, okay, you've bloodied it with that second strike. It's it's pretty damn tough. Uh, Barnabas, you can hear all sorts of things going on in this whirling wind of horrible wafting sm uh, uh, smell. He'll wait until the, the fog is cleared. Okay, so you're just delaying? Yeah, delay. Until after Junker, I'll move your initiative now. Okay. Uh, Shaggy Demon, or Damon. Yeah. Uh, Get out here, you coward. Face justice. No. Didn't want to. You guys look strong. <laughs> okay, hide in the corner. And <laughs> one at a time. I, I, <laughs> I, I suddenly picture him as that big, hairy thing from Labyrinth that looks so woogly or whatever <laughs> okay he moves into here he opens his mouth and belches forth a cone of flame he's gonna help make a barbecued lobster he's just gonna you know half shell or he, whatever he ends up hitting his own <laughs> <laughs> the creature on his own side literally <laughs> it throws up its its tentacles and 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 lobster claws into the air like it didn't enjoy it's not enjoying this Wait, don't think we friendly fired each other yet intentionally no not intentionally okay the reflex save is 19 oh 
Holy shit. Uh, Grapple of Eights. Uh, Mort, hang on. That's a good roll on 67. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, holy crap! It hurt a <laughs> Modron hurt us mocking the monster. Is like, all right, all right, buddies. <laughs> uh, Mort makes it, so it takes fourteen. Uh, what did I say the DC was? Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. Okay, so Los just made it. Um, so he takes a quarter, quarter so seven damage. I I felt that even on the whatever plane I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grackle, you made you evaded. Yeah. So you, you hit the deck basically, and then you rolled away from the attack from the uh, from the lobster man, oh. and then uh, Mort, did you make it? Mort made it. The uh, so you it take four- basically took fourteen, but it basically burned up the thirteen ter- temporary hit points, and he got one. He's like, okay. ow! And then Fuck. the <laughs> lobster da- daemon. No. Oh. For lack of a better he's word, gonna get he's gonna take damage no matter what. I think. He makes the save, which is 14, and then he resists 10, so 10. that's 4. Yeah. You hurt your boy. Alright, so that guy moved and breathed. That's his turn. It, it's like he's a little man trapped in a big man's body. It's, it's like he doesn't... He, he, he doesn't Push him around! Get out there and make your presence known! What the fuck are you doing? Uh... <laughs> It looks like he wants to try these like hit and run tactics first. It's Grackle be hockey when somebody grew six inches and they don't know it yet. Yeah. Uh, Grackle's <laughs> going to All right, he's, hope- he's hoping the lobster daemon will injure you guys so that he could then lord over you. Yeah. Uh, Marty, if I'm over here, am I flanking with Mort or not? No. If I'm over here. Okay. Um, if you're here, you're flanking with Mort. Yeah. Okay. Let's just deal with this thing first. How much? Uh, how how badly does this guy look? He's bloodied with the last strike from Mort, and he's leaking from the side where Los poked him. He's pretty fucked up. So yeah, pretty fucked. Other up. than that, you are not a scholar or oh, l- uh, learned wanted... in the ways of medicine. Of shit, I wanted a five foot step. Oh, lobster no. damons. <laughs> Planer, <laughs> planer aquatic being. <laughs> right. Uh, Marty, I wanted to. I pre- fuck, forgot the five. But. You're five with fine. stepping? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Uh, 28. Hits. Does, can he be critted? Yes. Okay. You don't have a flank, right? Uh, I critted it. I know. I'm just. I'm just letting. I'm just. Not, yeah, you, you won't know, have a flank right. until Los gets in. Los should cast long arms. Is really what we learned. But uh, standard. Okay. Uh, minus this. Whatever I roll, minus ten. Right. Uh, seventy four. <laughs> Meh, 74 that's it 74 damage okay you you end up slicing into um uh into a soft looking plate that was uh that was scrunched up from mort's attacks 74 is 96 and the creature has 70, you drop it to minus 26. Uh, it dies. <laughs> and that's why we keep grackling. <laughs> uh, a bunch of its innards are pouring out of its uh, uh, out of its its hard shell body, and it topples to the side. Tentacles flipping around. The creature stays. Low. Okay, I'm gonna move. So sorry, go back here. Um, I didn't need to five foot step because that was dumb. The big shaggy beast, like, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna tumble. All right, here's as far as I can get. Give me a uh, your t- your acrobatics check. Yup. Uh, eighteen. Is there any bonuses? No, right. 35. 
Yeah, you it, it swipes at you a couple of times. It, it seems a little klutzy. A couple of times? Once. Okay. Descriptive Let's action. Check. Chicken, it's descriptive. It, 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 would, it, it would have only got one because it's part of one movement, so or one action. Uh, but I'm in position. Okay, so you you tumble past it. It seems very uh, compared to the 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 creature you just fought, a little bit clumsy. Yep. Um, Los will step. <laughs> Grackle nods like yes. <laughs> It. <laughs> it's a big it's like a, a lemur who shazammed himself into a giant body <laughs> it's a big dumb ape <laughs> I'm not going to get famous fighting big dumb apes uh, plus flank hits AC 30 hits the big dumb ape now the big dumb ape uh, what plus do you need to get past silver Three. Okay. My armor is supposed to be not good. Oh. Sneak attack. Sneak. So 21 damage on the big dumb ape. Uh, he stepped, he attacked, and then he's going to aid Grackle's next attack. And he does so. Ah, you don't like that! You don't like that, huh? The cloud of smoke has been dispersed, and the elemental collapses back down into a, a very stinky but small elemental. All right then. Uh, ghost is gonna or Junker is gonna. It's Spark, Barnabas, Chaga, then. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Junker gets to go, and then it's all. There's a bunch of people before Ghost. is gonna come up to within 30 feet of okay. the thing. This thing stinks like rotten uh, like rotten shellfish. We'll debate on whether or not we sample it later to see Yeah, what... I was gonna say, Junker <laughs> eats rotten shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out eventually. Uh, and then we're gonna just try shooting the thing to see what happens. Because what what happened? What happened when we shoot it? Uh, weird fact finding because we didn't get to see any of the other fighting. Um, we are whipping a plus two frosty shocky arrow at it. Um, I'm assuming this frost get through. Nope. No. Okay. Um. Uh, and shock doesn't go. Nope. All right, we'll we'll eventually we'll figure it out eventually. We will we'll happen across the one element that'll do a thing. AC thirty five. That definitely hits it though. It's, it's shaggy. Uh, it's shaggy fur is not that thick. Here's the 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 dur. How much dur does it have? Ten. This one has dur. Good okay. or good or silver. All right. Uh, so it does no damage. Nine damage. So no no damage after dur. <laughs> <laughs> the arrow bounced right off the center of its head, <laughs> shakes its head. Uh, <laughs> he cocks his head to the side. <laughs> Spark, Spark annoyingly flies around Mort's head, but ends up touching Mort for a um, uh, an aid spell, re-upping your aid. Yay! You now have, which replaces your existing 10 hit points, 13 10 hit points. You will not fall if you are fighting evil! But you will answer for your crimes! Uh, can I do that later? <laughs> yes! He's <laughs> just trying to pull him away. <laughs> Barnabas, who had delayed until after the smoke went. Uh, Barnabas will come strolling around here. Oh, everything's just well in hand. and uh, Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess, what is it? W which is Which is what? Uh, the the big shaggy thing I'm uh, that's normally not in my home. Yeah. Okay. The big shaggy thing. Uh, what's your roll on knowledge points? I will take ten and get thirty one. Okay. It's called a um, a guardian daemon. Um, 
specifically they're called uh, Sisto demons or Kesto demons. Um, they are the fodder of planes like Abaddon, Gehenna is another name for it. Mm -hmm. um, they are the rank and file soldiers of the four horsemen. Okay. They're often conjured to the prime material plane um, as guardians for minor lairs. Okie doke. 31, let's see, you know you know about their DR is good or silver. You know that they are immune to acid as are most daemons. And one more thing, you know that these creatures can um, hop around via dimension door at will. Okay. Otherwise, they're, uh, they're about as tough as, like, they're a little bit tougher than a troll. <laughs> So they're not that tough. They no, just look big. No, the the tougher demon you think is actually demon is actually the thing that you guys beat up. Put it down quick before it disappears. Chaga. If you got silver weapons, use them. Comes trundling into the room. <laughs> My kitchen. Really not the priority, Chaga. Must <laughs> be my kitchen. It sticks in the. the oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to scrape it clean and restock it. I, I, I swear, unseen servants. Shh, shh, don't okay, die, don't okay. Um. Brain blasted. <laughs> or did he move too far? Oh, uh, he moved a single move. He could cast a spell to brain blast it. Sure. Or throw your scythe or pick whatever. Uh, yeah, he is going to cast Mind Thrust, the lower level one, on the creature just to see if he can. Okay. Just give it a little poke. Just give it a little poke. Does Barnabas know if these are spell resistant creatures? Uh, you didn't roll high enough to learn all the things about it, so, um. I'm just going to assume it probably is. We'll find out with this low level spell. Yep. The. DC of the spell is 1718. This daemon. Girls in at one. It's clutching its head as it takes a bunch of damage from Chaga. Does it have SR? Nope. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's 5d6 plus 5. Oh, 19 damage. <laughs> it didn't seem to like that. I should do that again. I just, I just very well might. Bad creature! Bad monkey! Bad monkey! <laughs> you will taunt it from here while they do their thing. <laughs> okay, Glaren ooze into the room and kind of gawks at these creatures. What? What evil? What madness? Uh, they're diamonds. Just kill them. <laughs> Junker makes a inappropriate comment into Zumi about apparently your wife wears the pants or something like that. <laughs> in, in the Zumi, no fucking doubt about that one. <laughs> 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 Ghost. It's only rude if he understands. <laughs> Ghost is going to move in two moves. Yep. And then he's going to rapid shot the big shaggy beast. And that should do it, probably. Because uh, make the beast go away. Um, so we've got... Uh, Good Hope running, you said? Or sorry, you Bard Song running? Bard Song's running, no Good Hope yet. Okay, uh, so that's... Uh, given this creature, I don't think we're going to Good Hope just yet. Alright. AC 36. AC 26. Both are hits. Um, uh, cold and Fire both don't work. Uh, your quantities, no. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, so this is 2d6 plus, and then my bow gets through adamantine. So, so it gets through silver. Yep. Uh, 8, 10, no DR. 12, 13. Yeah, no DR. You're uh, in point blank shot, bard song. And don't forget the plus two oh, from Weapon of Awe. The plus two from, uh, so I've got two from the bow, two from Bard Song, two from Weapon of Awe should be added. That says four. So 36 damage. 36 Great. damage. Uh, 76. It is on its last leg. <laughs> slumped off to the side <laughs> making half ass uh, uh, swipes uh, the lobster daemon is dead Tassar win moves in this is definitely the the craft of of Belafont He secretly, while we were adventuring, started summoning these, conjuring them even. Mort? Uh, Mort, unconcerned about their history, and just moves up to here. Okay, it has a reach of 10. So does Mort. <laughs> Us. Uh... No aids, so 21. See, 31. 31's a hit. Your your abyssal steel Tetsubo does its work. And AC 29. And as it's falling to the ground, you are bashing it again. Just whacking it for fun. <laughs> Plus. The rats do rat things. I have to take the wife to work. Uh, they're they're both buffed to the nuts, so okay. <laughs> they're ready to fight. Thing. They're all on their tokens. Cool. So yeah, fifty-seven damage. You 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 bash the uh, um, the daemon until it's no longer moving. Bits of its bits of its uh, horny head kind of fling, flung throughout the room. Uh, they cannot. They were not strong enough to withstand the force of the blunt trauma that Mort is able to deliver. Ugh. The, the the rest of the par individual party members would not be able to stand the blunt trauma that <laughs> Mort can deliver. I don't, I don't think Mort can sustain himself against the blunt trauma he puts out. Well, and you shared the crit. You almost died. Yeah, directly. I almost died because I shared a crit with a with an enemy. <sighs> Is that it? Is that all? I fucking doubt it, but you know, cross your fingers. No, uh, is. Barnabas it. is going to make a plane. Now, which planes? Why aren't they disappearing? Sure, Are they bound to the tower. Or... Yeah, give me a. I will roll this one because you know sometimes random is fun. It's not that fun. <laughs> 22 if they're not summoned it means they're coming here by another means like they're actually coming here so he's like opened a gate or a portal or something and that's how they're getting in it's concerning yeah yes it is all right let's um Get to the chair, finish this before he summons anything else. Those check the stairs on the way up. Right, boss. Actually, actually, hang on. Check the have him check this room and the uh, and this room here. Oh, you want me to go into where the lich is? Yeah, I doubt he's fucking in there. But okay, under look. the floor. Don't use the doors. Yeah, Lowe's. He comes back. Yeah, you're right. He's not there. All right, but no monsters, nothing? Nothing I can see. All right, check up the stairs. Do you Next. have a seen visibility? Next floor. It is uh, from some, under. some of those cables in that liquid is gone, though. Yeah, I think it's much. Lowe's uh, goes up the stairs. Come on, Crackle. You nods. 
You're holding my leash. He says with a smile. Uh, from the stairwell, he pops into the adjoining bedrooms. Stealth from Grackle? Sure. I'll, I'll give you one from Lowe's as well. Um, what's Lowe's? Plus 31. Uh, 41 Los, 40 Grackle. Like ninjas, the two of you are able to sneak up the stairwell. Los pokes his head out of the door at the top of the stairs and then goes right through the walls to look into each of the bedrooms. He comes back and he whispers to you, I don't see anyone in the bedrooms. Uh, it looks like everything's been tossed. Don't tell Barnabas, I think some of his liquor's been smashed. Nods. Um... Alistair's room, uh, it doesn't have his, I, it doesn't have his cauldron in it. And his door is broken. He is swift nod. Uh, do I, if he's outside of the, of his container, can I just think and he gets it or does he have to be in the container to get it? you? You try to hold the container and think and try to talk to him. He doesn't seem to be responding to you. You'd have to be okay. in it. You realize he has to be in the container for you to talk to him. I, I whisper to him, signal the others to follow. Right. It's okay. To... Uh, where were the trap man? So to... It's okay to come to the second floor. Just be quiet. We're going to go up to the third. Where's the trap? Where's the trap guy? He was on. Uh... Uh, he was in the third floor. Mm, yeah. You're gonna sneak up to the next I think floor. It's gonna be. I'm waiting for Mort to be like right, <laughs> right on my ass. <laughs> Mort's just behind uh, Ghost and Junker, who are trap checking. Yep. Well. Oh, they're doing that in front of us. Yeah, they'll do that in front of you to keep from setting off traps. Okay, yeah, that's cool. And the rest of us are following. So there's a stealthy group. Stealthy Lopes. group ahead of the would you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you get up to the third floor. Los peeks through the walls and he says, uh, no, sign of, no sign of tarp. Uh, it does look like everything's messy, though. And you, you take a peek outside, Grackle, and you do see that it does look like the laboratory has been disturbed. Some of the bottles have smashed. Um, the books that Tarp was working on, um, you, the important one that you know that was his spell book seems to be missing. You see one of the lead pewter crystal construct golems kind of toppled over. Maybe it was pushed over some garbage, and uh, a, lot of the, uh, a lot of the materials here look like they've been rooted through. No sign of tarp. Um, there, there are some candles, and um, that have burnt all the way down. Uh, the candles are cold. Okay. Points. Keep moving. Okay. This group gets up to the private study. When this group sees that they're heading up, we'll head up to the next level. I think you guys avoided the private study a lot uh, after you looted through it. I don't think you went up to yeah, this Yeah, I don't think we, we had little reason to be up there. Uh, the, there's, the stairs do continue to the top of the tower. Um, but here, Los has a look around. Uh, he... Grackle's like... He's like, he's likely here somewhere. He, he, he gives you the signal, like, do you want him to go through the wall that way? We should go through together. All right. Well, maybe I should just take a quick peek. Uh, Lo seems to flow up to this area and then flows against the wall, and it seems like there's some sort of hedge. He seems to be unable to flow into the wall surrounding um, uh, Belafonte's private chambers. What's it he goes, uh, Grackle goes to him like this. He dips down 
to try to go underneath. And then he comes back and he shakes his head. He 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 shrugs and tries it from the top again. And he comes back just like, <laughs> like okay, like all right. He whispers to Mort, "This this is where I saw him drag Alistair into yeah. to his room." Should I get the others? Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anyone up here. Uh, some of the materials and things look like they've been rooted through, and the desk looks like somebody's pulled it apart. And there may have been hidden compart uh, compartments in the desk. Okay. Uh, mortal head downstairs. And almost whispering, hey, you lazy fuckers, we're working up here. Let's go. Mm. Sorry, all these <laughs> characters with... All right, here we go. Uh, he's going to let Rat take a look for traps, and he'll try to aid. Uh, Ghost, sorry, let Ghost take a, a look at the uh, Barnabas door. Will aid. Barnabas will aid, too. Uh, I think I auto-aid. You have more than 10? Yeah. Yeah. So Ghost is... I have plus 20 for traps. Hey. Or oh, perception. Hey. Plus 15, yeah. Bar actually, <clears throat> Barnabas will spend around and inspire competence for a plus 3. Is that singing? No. Well, it's talking. Like, eh, check over there, check over there, check over there. <laughs> so 23 plus 2 from Grackle. Two from Junker, I think. And... And then does Mort help? Mort can't detect traps. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at Junker. Jun Junker can. He's a second level rogue. Yep. Yep. He's pretty good. Uh, 44. Okay. For traps. Uh, there are two traps on this door. One is on the mechanism, the door itself. It's a magical trap. And okay. we're going to call, call that one um, a heightened sepia snake sigil. Okay. Uh, it is heightened to seventh level. Okay. And the other trap is along the archway and floor of the door. Like if you pass through without saying something, that trap is a major curse trap. Oh. Uh, all right. He, he, Gra Grackle looks at this. He looks up more. He's you, like, you, you don't know what the conditions of the curse are, but he he, he sees the, he sees the traps. He looks up more. <laughs> points to the other wall. It's like the wall, the wall up here. Hey, this is a fucking hole. Let me try and open it. <laughs> Jane uh, Grackle's backing the fuck up. Uh, I think Ghost and Junk are going to help Barnabas with this. Cause... Actually, I do have a bonus with a with disabled device. I will help. Okay. Uh, I auto aid. Okay, the Sepia Snake Sigil, you know, if anyone tampers with, like, the door and tries to open the door without saying a word, um, will get uh, stuck by it. Um, you know uh, that the major curse trap means it's just if you pass through the doorway without saying it, you'll get the curse. Okay, so, well, the first one. Which one? The... We're going to start with the heightened sepia snake sigil. Okay. Why is that coming up now? I want to just push enter. All right. Uh, I get with aids from Junker, Ghost, and Grackle. Barnabas gets a 45. So Junker, Ghost, and Grackle are all basically in front of the door. 
Yep. Okay. Four, Do or die group activity here. 45, uh, uh, you were able to uh, break the heightened sepia snake sigil trap by basically fetching like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> like you pull out something living, <laughs> you get one of Chaga's uh, goose goose eggs to uh, to to kind of like you you kind of you psych out the trap. Uh, are you, you? I think you rolled it high enough that let me do some quick math here. Twenty five thirty two, and you rolled a forty five. No, you're you, basically you've got this golden egg now. <laughs> okay. Uh, the magic will wear off in days. Um, and yeah, and now we will try to disarm that major curse. Okay. So again, plus six. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah, th this one's a little bit easier. You just have everyone kind of jam these lead rods into the side, uh, and uh, make sure that you're you're kind of insulating your hands as you do it, and you jam the metal rods in along the door frame, and you run them all along the door frame, kind of burning away the magic. Um, there's a pop and crackle as the necromancy uh, 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 wanes. Okay. Uh, the, these these the these were crafted. That they will reset. Can they so, be destroyed? I think I think you did enough that you destroyed them. So give me a second. Uh, yeah, we don't want them resetting. If you best the DC ten or more, you figure out how it works and you can bypass it without disarming it. So you have the choice of. No, we want to disarm it. Like you yeah. want it to never, never be there again. Never yeah. be there. Okay, again. so you you ruin both traps is basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Barnabas backs up. I think Ghost and Junker are going to back up too. Okay. There is a uh, a metal door with a an amazing lock on it that remains. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you get the same aids again. Yeah, same aids. I'm not going to move them, but they're in front of the thing first. Uh, 45. Okay, that is able to get through the amazing lock, and for whatever reason, a arcane lock was perhaps on it at one point, but it is no longer on it. Okay. You're able to... Now they back away from the door. Fine. Okay. Not, not, not. Can can ghosts just hover above us? And have more like right here. Yeah, Lowe's Lowe's can hover above. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess Grackle will be the one to open the door, for, like readying for more. Like, ready. More <laughs> ready to whack anything that comes through the yeah, door. Like... <laughs> Okay, the door the door pushes in. It swoops in, and there's this perfect plane of inky black darkness that that is. It seemed to have been overlapping where the middle of the door was. You Grackle, do, Grackle expected this. You do not see or hear anything from inside the room. Go, go, go. And Mort right. looks over. Mort look. Mort looks over to Lowe's. Come on, you're it up. Get in there. All right, Los <laughs> flows into the darkness and disappears. Jackal goes in. Okay, let me unfog the room. There's a very large. Like, uh, come in, like, right, ready to strike something. Yeah, you come in, ready to strike something. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Uh, well, there are things. There's a very large um, uh, four post bed. There is a big trunk off to the side that is open. You can see all sorts of clothing and, and, and uh, items kind of strewn throughout the floor. There is a uh, kind of like a, a, a slender table big enough for books to be opened upon. A bunch of the books look like they've been ransacked and, and, and looked through and uh, there's some of them are, are uh, lying on the floor. There are two um, large 
um, wooden boxes that seem to have been carved to perfectly fit underneath the bed. They've been pulled out and their lids are open and stuff has been rooted through. And there is upon this dais, this elaborate looking gaudy chair made out of um, dark wood bronze and perhaps um, a smattering of uh, semi-precious gemstones. It, it looks like <laughs> 200 years out of style and and like somebody didn't didn't care what the colors of the gemstones were. <laughs> A, a complete gaudiness. I don't know if anyone in the party is into that. It's the type of thing that Chaga might like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's quiet in here. Mort bumps in new. Ah! <laughs> Spreading back out as you want, runs into Lowe's. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Grackle. Uh, Grackle's going to take a step to the side and whisper traps, maybe. Slow down. Okay, uh, Grackle's gonna come out. Okay, none of you on the outside can hear Mort, Los, and and uh, um, Grackle talking. Yeah, the Gra Grackle's Grackle uh, is is going to go outside. Barnabas, now that you see the black, the black barrier, you can give me a spellcraft mm -hmm. if you want. Oh, hang on. Forty-two. Yep. Uh, Forty-two. It is a permanent mage's private sanctum. Does not look like there's anyone there. That's all right. We can leave that up for when it's mine. <laughs> but uh, and he, he needs your eyes. Los not being able to go through the walls. Give me a knowledge. Arcana. Mm. Religion. Religion. Arcana uh, might also work. Yeah. Uh, I will go with Arcana because it's I got a slightly better roll. Uh, I will take ten twenty plus, uh, and that gives me forty three. He has lined his chamber with lead crystal, so it would be you couldn't even scry in here. So scrying won't work. On top of the mage's private sanctum, in addition. In, in corporeal creatures can't move into this uh... Barnabas is keeping this all to himself because he doesn't well, he wants this room <laughs> if we can you, you we can purge him a lich he wants this room <laughs> Barnabas <laughs> wants to sit in this chamber it's basically what, yeah. what foul things did Bellafont look into and study and <laughs> and do in his own bedchambers where no one but the gods could see <laughs> <laughs> well we're about to find out there is a tumble of books that look like they've been ransacked through recently um that might provide such clues uh quick perusal of those books well yeah you you uh, Lowe's yeah, comes out yeah there's a bunch of books and uh, looks like somebody's did. ransacked yeah. the place <laughs> everybody in come on okay He instructs um, Ghost and Junker to check that chair for traps, because we're pretty sure that's the chair we're looking for. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, Ghost will get two rolls. What? Wizards don't have secrets, Fox. <laughs> Powerful wizards. Uh, <laughs> the first one would be at his own uh, score. Uh, and the second one, he's got help from Grackle and Junker. So, so who's looking seven. at the chair? It, it's Ghost. Ghost and Grackle? Ghost, Junker, and Grackle. I'm okay. looking at this. Okay. Uh, 34. DC is 25 plus spell level 31, plus it was disguised in a little way, becomes 33. 34. You notice that a wood plank has been placed carefully over top of the seat and that upon this plank that can be removed if 
very careful, has been placed a disintegrate trap. Oh, that's just mean. Anyone oh. sitting down and trying to activate the chair likely would be disintegrated. All right, Barnabas will take the lead on disarming it. Okay, is anyone helping? Yes, Anger. they all better fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of people move to the other side of the room when you say the chair is trapped. <laughs> 40, all right. 49 to disable the trap. Yep. Are you breaking the disintegrate trap? Or are you bypassing it? Or breaking. Breaking, yeah. Someone might need this chair to fucking... If, if you exit. bypassed it, you'd be able to move this disintegrate trap around. That's what I'm asking. Could we, like, smack the lich on the head with it? Like, bah! <laughs> no, but you'd be able to set it up on the ground, and anyone who stands on it would, would get a disintegrate. It looks like a plank, like a like a three by three okay. rounded yeah, we'll, we'll, plank we'll of wood. We'll bypass it. And... Okay, so Barnabas uh, a landmine. <laughs> finds some heavy quilts from the bed and throws it over it and manages to kind of put clamps underneath and you wrap this whole thing up into quilts and you know that you've got a very dangerous object <laughs> inside yeah. the quilts. Where are you putting the trapped uh, disintegrate? How big is the board? Is it like it's, a single, it's, it's, like, it's, like, four? it's like the bottom of the seat that you're sitting on. Okay. Um, well, that won't fit in my hat. No. <laughs> it's a bit too wide for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's the whoopee cushion. We'll put of... it in Mort's backpack. <laughs> All right. So you're stuffing this thing into Mort's backpack. No. <laughs> he gets hit in the back. <laughs> Like a rat. All right. He looks back at Tassara Wynn. You know how to use this thing. I taught you the word. Yeah. I'm thinking we should send some of the um, warrior type down first. Some of these things are valuable, I think. And Chaga picks up a thing and looks at it. Not if we're fucking dead. Spell components things that wizards would have used or minor things N nothing of importance aside from that chair uh barnabas you 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 see a bunch of curious tomes that look like they have they deserve much more care than just simply being toppled from a uh, from a bookshelf. What is this travesty? <laughs> uh, they're all basically at the where Grackle is standing. Oh, like they, they've all been tumbled here. Yeah, I'll pick a few of them okay. up. And check. The dust on this one. This one's a, a book about. Um, It's called The Harbingers of Doom. Okay. Uh, you look through it and there are some very basic and uh, um, vile uh, descriptions of the greatest four daemons known as the Horsemen of the Apocalypse or simply the floor, uh, the four. They rule the blighted plain of Abaddon, also known as Gehenna. Each of these monstrosities, a powerful demigod, and a unique personification of one of the four concepts of ap apocalyptic events. Death, famine, pestilence, and war. Okay. Um, I don't know how long you're going to stand reading this, but no, it... we've, no, we've got. You'll have time to read it this winter with all his other okay. heartwarming tales he, about hell and Gehenna. <laughs> we should not expect to find this thing that is important and hard to destroy here. Correct? Uh, uh, detect magic. 
You yeah. detect you detect magic in the room. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the channel, Dumpstack Charisma, and your raid. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, welcome to welcome to the stream, guys. So inside the private sanctum of Bellafont, atop the Tower of um, of Summoning, um, which the party has recently learned is somehow built over something called the Endless Pit to the Plains, they finally were able to uh, delve into Bellafont's chambers as they know that he has turned into a lich and have brought powerful allies and spells at the ready to try to confront him. Barnabas, the professor, is rooting around with some books that look like they've been recently uh, scavenged through to pick up a, a tome that speaks of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. There are other tomes by their covers, not that one should judge a book by uh, such things, um, that suggest the private collection of Bellafont, or now Melafont the Dreadmoth, um, seem to run towards evil things, necromancy, um, you see some titles uh, or signs of books that are likely about demonology or at least summoning things from other planes. Um, you um, see a treatise that talks about how one type of uh, outsider becomes another type of outsider. It's like a theological mm -hmm. dissertation on like fallen angels and how souls can transition to other types okay you're like ooh, that that's some heavy reading yeah <laughs> uh with your knowledge of planes you know that things in the planes very few things in the planes are are immutable that would stay the same yeah the fact that a soul, though, a soul that turns into an outsider could change. We got a bot on chat here. Yeah, give me a second. The bots have such long, not typey friendly names. The dust of these books is making me sneeze. <laughs> oh. Crackle, you sneeze because of the dust of the books. Um... <laughs> Good role playing. Uh, uh, Barnabas, there's one last thing as you're detecting magic. There is a, a very strong conjuration magic that is coming from the chair upon the dice. As gaudy as it is, you realize that someone crafted the, the magic of the chair to simply hold the magic and didn't care what the chair looked like. <laughs> the sparkling gems are keeping mm -hmm. the, uh, the conjuration magic within the chair from what to Sara's descriptions of what the chair could do, this matches what you're seeing through the detect magic. Could, right. <clears throat> could the magic of his phylactery be hidden, say, within the magic of the chair, like uh, it's one of the gems? Um, are you going to spend some time to look a little bit deeper at the chair to try to identify uh, it? You know what? Not right now, because we have 1d10 days to <laughs> find it after we destroy him. So Okay. Um, also with your detect magic, you are detecting illusion coming from the, um, the bed, the... Uh, from the back part of the book that describes the four horsemen. Ah, uh, we'll save to see through it. Okay. You try to concentrate on it. Simply concentrating on it does not see through it. Um, it touch look it. it okay so you touch it there is an entire chapter like old school books were kind of bound in like a bunch of folded pages yeah and it looks like each one of these sections of folded mm -hmm. pages were, were like a chapter there's a whole chapter at the end that is invisible oh he's got the invisibility up can you see it you can what's it about okay so you're flipping through books He's what flipping he, just just quick like summary of what the like the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. What's the title of the chapter? Is it yeah. chapter thirty four? Yeah, no, let me. <laughs> I 
What is not understood is that there is another, an eldest, and most mysterious of the four horsemen of Abaddon. The four horsemen once bowed to him as their creator and ruler until they rebelled, bound him at the heart of Abaddon, and devoured his flesh. But we know because of the one who walked with death. That this most mysterious and eldest of the four horsemen did not die when his flesh was devoured. For he is known as the Oino Daemon. And to speak his name out loud is to invoke the fear of awaking of awakening the first daemon, a daemon that was formed as reality was formed, and a daemon whose whose release will signal not the on, not only the end of of the world upon which his names are spoken but to the end of all things huh well this will bear some perusing i some not reading for the winter he, he places the books with much more reverence on the bed okay. than he had found them with. All right, enough time wasting. Um, you see a artist rendition in the book of the Oino Daemon? <laughs> and it looks like so. Some sort of horrible, vaguely skull-shaped thing with... celestial objects either as part of his makeup or being consumed by That's it just, like, welcome to the ma space madness <laughs> where is the the check twitch you can see there yeah no, it's, it's not, not there. Yeah. Uh, all right The rest of the chapter says, Read no further for those weak of heart, but those who wish to know the secret words to contact this spirit of death of deaths may continue at their own peril. Yeah, I don't think Barnabas wants to do that, but I don't think curiosity will be held at bay all winter. The three pages that were, that should be there in the invisible chapter at the end of the book of the Four Horsemen of Abaddon have been ripped away. Son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, so um, we might possibly have a an issue um, I mean if this book is accurate that book should be should have been burned long ago yeah well it wasn't and um, seems like he took the recipe at the back so we're gonna have to get down there right fucking quick I'd say Barnabas this is the type of thing that like Imperials should show up like the true Imperials <laughs> Yeah, it's not, I, I'm a period. I'm an imperial on paper. <laughs> you're an imperial insane. citizen. You're talking about like the imperial royalty. The imperial, yes. Uh, well, I suppose we could always, you know, wait a week for the mages at the college to come here and do something. But could you give us the gist of what you found? Not all of us are as well learned as you are, Barnabas. 
Well, according to this book, there is a... Um, you're familiar with the Horsemen of Apocalypse? Yes, yeah. Yes, well, apparently there was an oldest with the first horseman, and the other horseman uh, ate his flesh and bound him at the, well, at the bottom of Gehenna. Ha <laughs> ha! What did he taste like, says Lewis? <laughs> Juggers. <Yeah>. Chicken. <laughs> now. <laughs> what... This last invisible chapter of the book is climbing is that it can give you the means to summon this um, only demon, Damon, I believe it's it's how it's pronounced, Um, and doing so will bring about to the end of all things. Now tell me, Sarah, do you think this is something uh, your dear Belafont would be capable of? I mean, arcane-wise. There would be no summoning of such such a creature. Yeah, I don't think he's asking your permission, to be honest. Belafont always spoke of there being powers in the plains. That one could gain power by manipulating and controlling entities of the lower plains. When he started down that track, we were able to convince him that these were not That these should not, these powers should not be trifled with. Well, I fear Lichdom has driven him mad. It does say contact, but you but can so, awaken. <laughs> but something on that scope and power, Barnabas, like you'd have to be absolutely. It's like saying, I'm just going to go poke mad. the lion. I'm just going to go poke the sleeping lion. What could yeah, possibly what could go, poke? Let's go long, wrong, because it can you know, give me its power. Because <laughs> that's what it does. We're not just talking about poking. We're taking our pinky finger and jamming it up its nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if there are any spells you want before we get down there, I don't think there's going to much room for negotiation. Okay, did everyone else hear that? Nope. (laughs) In a minute, I'm getting someone else. (laughs) There there is the same voice in your head that invaded your dreams that convinced you to no longer sleep in the tower that you guys were sleeping in. You feel Belafont's presence in your mind. You don't know how. Your mind is racing, and you feel a cold tingle up your spine. I sensed your return, Barnabas. What are you doing here? I will be right down to explain. Right down. Oh, you are coming down (laughs) Shut the fuck up. How did you learn where I am? It took me years to get past the imperial boundary that they placed upon this most holy of holy grounds. Well, I'll show you. Master? (laughs) Who did you bring here? I was like, none of them can hear. <laughs> he's looking no. at Spark like for an no, there's, there's, there's One of the Nazumi, has got his hand up like he's in class. Uh, but uh, Lois is now starting to like poke around in the bed and he's looking at things. Chaga's checking out the bed to see how comfy it is. Getting ideas for future magic items. He wants to animate a bed. You just walk around in the animated bed. That's what Chaga's going to do. He's uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he adventures. In yeah, bed. he's gonna adventure in bed. He's gonna make a magical bed. This <laughs> Chaga is our 2020 spirit animal. I think that's a little much, but I can see him like in a sleeping bag on a on a flying carpet all the time. <laughs> Ooh, you've got an idea for a magic item. Oh yeah, <laughs> is it a magic sword? Not every magic item is a magic sword. Like they they they're not hearing this, Mark. They're they're. He knows we're coming. What? Did we did we set off a trap? No, he sensed me somehow. 
Whom did you bring, Barnabas? Oh, uh, you'll see. Or you he cast hear... protection from evil on himself. <laughs> okay, there is a like a pop from the voice. You you cut off Meliphant the Dreadmoth's uh, connection or way of speaking to you uh, with the simple protective spell. All right, protection from evil still works. Stay with the ten feet of <laughs> Yeah, we'll say that Chaga was busy with the bed. <laughs> He's all having a conversation. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. <clears throat> all right, we'll get over here. You're getting one of these two. What are we doing? Are we heading down now? Yeah, we're heading down now. He's fucking waiting for us. Takes his potion, bears endurance. <laughs> uh, 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 one of the Nizumi wants to speak to you. Yeah, sorry, I had a thing in my head. <laughs> the answer is we cannot hear it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ghost, you need protection from evil. Aren't you shooting us in the ass? You'll take it. You'll accept the protection from evil. Or you can just stay within ten feet of Chaga, but I know you like to get a little closer. Okay, he'll take a protection from you. Double layer protection. He will. <laughs> he'll. Re... Oh, I tease his protection. <laughs> it sounds important. <laughs> yeah, you need one too. <laughs> Joker probably will be okay without one because he's not that dangerous in terms to of. To ghost or? Junker. Okay, Junker. Yeah, I was, that was the kind of thing, yeah. the same thing. Plus, he's got a. I'm thinking a better will save. Wisdom yeah, Grackle, on the other hand, will save of nothing. You, you, you need this. I actually went down with levels for Grackle somehow, amazingly. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's one, two, three, four. All right. Um, how many rounds of standing around casting spells are you guys doing? Well, uh, four, well, I think we're going down in groups. So, um, and I don't think it's out of bounds to say, "Hey, wins, want to contribute? Maybe go first. Powerful priestess. <laughs> She'll go down first. All right, sounds good. Uh, crap. Go there. Uh, Glaren is now arguing with his wife about how he should go down first to make sure it's safe. Sit on his lap. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should go down first, says Spark. Go in her pocket. The three of you combined are an amazing fighting force, I have no doubt. <laughs> there was a throne that was supposed to go down? Or a chair? Or something? It's yeah, a chair. Right here. Oh, it's a chair? Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they removed the effectively whoopee cushion of displacement there's a there was like a fake chair top with a uh, sorry a disintegrate um uh uh trap on it it's now bundled up in a big blanket in mort's backpack so you the guys have a of disintegrate very different than the whoopee cushion of displacement <laughs> yeah sorry yeah, very different yeah, cushions. Yeah. uh disintegrate <laughs> is what i meant but uh <laughs> and now there's this gaudy chair that that looks like it's 200 years too old for the styles of the day. Um, uh, multicolored gems of semi-precious value dotting all over them. The chair at once. What's that? How many can we get onto the chair at, at once? Oh, well, physically, you could probably sit two uh, two small creatures on the chair at once, or one medium creature. You don't know what happens if you try to double up. So round two, I think, is going to be ghost. Junker and Mort, because Ghost and Junker take up one space. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty hefty. Whatever's that, getting screwed pretty hard. Yep. Yeah. So uh, Barnabas needs six rounds to cast all of his spells. Some of them are are on uh, individuals that aren't him. So okay. Uh, so basically, then three rounds of Tassara and um, Glaren casting spells. Okay, that gives, uh, during the same time, that gives Barnabas a chance to get Grackle, Mort, and Ghost. So they can go down the next round. 
Okay, you do notice that Tassara casts Death Ward on herself, her husband, and Spark casts Death Ward on itself. Uh, Glaren casts Lead Blades twice and Death Ward, or sorry, Bark Skin on himself. Uh, Tassara Wind casts Communal uh, Protection or Resist Energy Fire and gets all three of her companions, uh, herself and Spark uh, Glaren. I have a feeling that. Junker's rat, I think, is gonna go and defend. The... He's not. I don't think the rat is coming in this one. No, uh, I I don't blame you to be honest. Yeah, Duckin is was left even just outside the tower. Um, and the rat is currently defending the tower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you a vicious little thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a plus two frosty bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the it's the the rat of doom. Okay, so I'm going to go down with whoever uh, has my, uh, uh... Pot. Okay, Los is going to heal the little bit of damage that he has, because he's got, I believe, re uh... Repair Undead? Repair Undead. Yep. Nice. So he gets rid of the tiny bit of damage he had, and then he's going to cast in the other two rounds Long Arm and mirror image <laughs> so <crutcher. laughs> that's funny accidents happen all right chaga in three rounds is going to cast fly on himself because i don't know where we're going <laughs> yeah, barnabas did the same thing yeah fly shield protection from you from and why and don't oh, cause damage. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, and I does, got those uh, Does anyone need a a prot from evil? Who else? Does anyone need a protection from evil? Uh Junker doesn't have one and the winds don't know. Los is immune to that shit, right? Mort has one, right? Depends on what Mort has one, yes. Does Grackle have one? Grackle yep. has one. Yep. Okay. Are you going to be flying what? around there, uh, Grackle, on your on your? Um. Yeah. Don't don't use the broom here. Uh, I'll do it. Fly spell on Grackle. Okay. Uh, Chaga is going to cast Weapon of Awe on Mort's Doom Tetsubo. Those. One minute per level is off in last fight and are all gone. On the Doom Subo? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Doom yeah. Subo. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so go ahead and give yourself uh, Weapon of Awe, Mort. Will do. All right. And... Uh, I'm going to, before we go, redo my long arms. Okay. So it feels like everyone has cast their three rounds of spells. Who is going to sit in the chair first? I think the winds are going first. Yes. Then it's Mort, Ghost, Junker, and okay. uh, Junker's carrying the pot. Tassara goes to sit down, and Glaren sits down, and Tassara sits on his on his uh, uh, on his lap, and Spark, like you said, stuffs herself into or himself. You don't know. So it's a little tiny being of light uh, into Tassara Wind's pocket. Glaren then his wife whispers the words. Uh, there is a light that blasts out from the uh, from the chair, and when the light recedes, Glaren is gone, but Tassara and the spark are still there. Well, we know that works. <laughs> You might want to get down there. <laughs> she she starts saying the word, and you notice that the light is kind of dying down, and you get the sense that maybe only one around is going to be able to go down there. Oh, it's going to be a bad fucking day. <laughs> Glaren, no! She says as she's as she's waiting for the chair to. Yeah, that's not the words you need. Just give it a sec. <laughs> Uh -oh. All right. 
initiative has been drawn. Okay. Uh, round one. This is after it's you tough. cast. Uh, Los. So what are we doing? <laughs> can I see We're taking. Up? You're gonna jar. Just get in the jar. Yes. Okay. Jar. Who's gonna hold my jar? Junk already has your jar. Junk has got your jar. Get in. <laughs> get in. All right. When I get out of my jar, I'm gonna cast haste on anyone. So keep keep close to keep close to who's got the jar? Junker. Because originally it was gonna be Junker. Like we were gonna get like a large group in one. Yep. And go. So Junker took the jar. Okay. Junker Los the Los flows back in as an incorporeal ghost back into his funerary urn. I'm gonna miss it. Damn it. And will cast Anticipate Peril on himself when he's in the urn. Okay. Okay. Which I which I think affects initiative, so uh, I'm just gonna add that to his initiative now. He's commandingly going first in initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, next is Grackle. Grackle, what are you doing? Um, she's in the seat. She's sitting in the seat. There's a now, there's now a log jam of people that are trying to use the teleportation device that's leading to a very, very, very bad place. He's he's like he's like, come on, <laughs> get down there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm delaying. I, I'm readying to sit into the chair and call the. So you're you're uh, readying to basically run over the chair and sit down. Yeah, yeah that there's there's no order that we're <laughs> just getting there as soon as you can, guys. Given that you're next to the chair, I'll allow you to combine activating the item with flopping into the chair <laughs> as a readied action. Technically, it's two, but it's it's fine. All right, the lobster demons. Chairs a free action, and then yeah. have responded to the um, logjam to a bad place is the name of an album. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great name for an album. Uh, there are the Uki lobster demons that are responding to the uh, the appearance of a half elf sitting in the chair, and Glaren is not having a good time. Fight the, you'll be fine. The lobster <laughs> daemons who, who, who are guarding the chair have telepathically talked to another daemon who is now flying over to see what the fuck. Alistair is whimpering, unable to move from his cauldron, which sits precariously on the edge, on the precipice to the endless pit to the plains. <laughs> Junker. Uh, so you said there was room for two. The, the two two small creatures could sit their butts in a medium-sized chair. Okay, and she is in the chair. She is currently occupying the chair and has spark in her pocket. Can I use the command word? Yep. Okay, I would use the command word. Okay, so you use the command word. It doesn't work from here. Maybe if you step forward and touched it and use the command word, it might work. Okay. Well, then I'll have two actions left. I'll step forward and use the command word. Yeah, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll... For cinematic reasons, you... Ah, that didn't work! And you go over, you touch the chair, and you use the command word, and she begins to disappear, and she's able to take Spark with her. Perfect. And they're in a very bad place right now, sitting down in melee. So, so the Barnabas makes a very bad joke at this time. But, so, wait a few, see how that goes. <laughs> ah, I'm just messing with you, let's get in there. <laughs> Is, uh defensively throwing himself down. Uh, the ready to action from Grackle. Okay, yeah. uh, you're able to def you're able to defensively go in and sit down, but because the chair has already been activated this round, it, you you say the word and it doesn't work. It's still yeah, it's uh, still glowing. 
uh, for anyone with any magical ability, you realize that this thing is probably staggered on purpose so that you don't teleport people into people. <laughs> you give them a chance to actually materialize on get the other the end chair, and yeah. get out of the chair. What happens if she can't get out of the chair? You get shunted, you take a d10 damage, and you're fine. <laughs> Spark! You become one with one another. <laughs> Spark is angrily fighting the demons that are there. Ghost! Well, I don't know what I'm going to... It's just, this is the biggest pile of bullshit he's ever seen. Uh, he's going to cast Allied Cloak and be like, a shrug? Like, <laughs> the fucking... Okay. Guess we're gonna cast more spells. If there are any shaggy daemons down there, they are blundering forward. There are some good spell -like abilities that shaggy daemons have. Stink Cloud is probably a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a pretty Stink good. Cloud amongst them. I think daemons are all immune to poison. Mort! Uh, M Mort will... Oh, fuck. He'll wait for his turn. Uh, he's gonna cat, or he's gonna take a which extract? He's got his long arms. What else should he take? Ex he'll take an expeditious retreat extract and wait for his turn. Okay, there's no bard song or. I'm gonna ask because he, he says turn already. Uh... Because he does spell casting ability. Uh, is there any way to take the safety off? Maybe. Oh, use it reckless. Use the chair recklessly. Yeah. <laughs> any time that I sit on a chair recklessly, it breaks. <laughs> right. <laughs> you were reckless. <laughs> well, very, very slender chairs or weak chairs are not to be sat upon. All right, let's have a look at this thing while we wait. Uh, oh. Disabled device. Can we um, Adam, put it, take the safety off? <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Barnabas, you might be able to try to trick the chair into doing what you want it to do via the use magic device skill. Okay. You're like, how do I... How do I make this chair just absolutely recklessly do what I want it to do? <laughs> and to be fair, you are playing with a chair that effectively has a targeted teleport. It could be a teleport without error. You're not sure because you didn't spend time to analyze Study, the yeah. aura of the chair. All right, if you want to give it a shot, I'll try. Hey, Ghost is waving at Grackle. He's already sitting down. <laughs> Send him away. <laughs> Go ahead. Send me away. I'm ready. <laughs> sitting down. Hey. Okay, so you're going to activate the chair with Grackle sitting in it because it's not you experimenting. You're going to try to make well, the yeah. chair... <laughs> you're going to, you're to try to make the chair like send Grackle even though even though it was just used. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me let me set a DC. Let me look at use magic device and then set a DC. Yeah, so a bunch of assholes, Grackle. Can can one of can one of you check the uh, the stream? Make sure our audio is there. I had another another flash from my uh, computer at that land. <clears throat> are we good are you checking the stream for are you check the stream for noise please what it's it's gone i need you to check the stream could uh, adam could you check the stream this is frustrating just Turn on the stream and see if you could hear us talk. 
Okay. Because something happened with, uh, looks like my video driver just went nuts. Okay, so let me let me um, let me restart again. I, I'm just going to try killing uh, uh, the call. I will restart the call. Okay, we are streaming, so um, I, I didn't reset XSplit just to see if we could check it out. Uh, can someone check the sound again? Audio is still messed. Okay, this time I'm going to try uh, resetting XSplit. 